Hello. Lately I've been asked quite a few times to explain stamp duty land tax. So here's my quick guide. For years we've all complained about this tax. It's a tax you pay to the government for buying a home. You could say it's tax on spending the money that you have already paid tax on. But let's not get political. But you do have to pay it and the solicitor will be the one responsible for making sure that you do. And the amount you pay varies based on a percentage of the property's cost and it's paid by the buyer and the solicitor will calculate the cost and pay the tax directly to Her Majesty's Government on your behalf at the end of the transaction. Now the old system was that the property, that a property up to £125,000 was exempt. £125,000 to £250,000 was charged at 1% and you paid it on the whole purchase price. So if you spent £150,000, you would pay £1,500 in tax. But if you spent £200,000, you'd pay £2,000 in tax. And if you spent £250,000, it follows you would pay at 1% £2,500 tax. But there was a threshold here, a hurdle that caused lots of problems. And that was that over £250,000, it went up to 3%. So if you spent £255,000, you would pay 3% of the whole purchase price. That's £7,650 in tax. So you can see there was a massive obstacle in people spending over 250 And this 3% band went up to 4% at £500,000. But after years of lobbying, the government, in the autumn budget of 2014, the Chancellor changed it all. Transactions after December the 4th, 2014, apply to a new system of tax charging. On the old system, if you spent £250,000, it would be £2,500 in stamp duty land tax. And that's the same in the new system. So we've got parity here. So let's have a look at this, using the same examples I used before. Um, and I'm going to use prices that are mostly applicable to Thurrock where we operate. I'm going to show you how to work it out and get an idea of how much better most people are on the new system. So here we are, faced with a new or revised version of stamp duty land tax. Properties up to £125,000 are still exempt, so you pay no tax. The next £125,000, you pay 2% tax, that's up to 250. And then the big change is that this new system is stepped, and it's beneficial to most buyers. On the next £675,000, this is a big bracket that takes us all the way up to 925, you pay 5% tax, and then 10% on the next 575, and then finally 12% on the amount above £1.5 million. And you pay it in stepped fashion rather than the whole amount. So a purchase price of £150,000. Well, the first 125 is exempt. The next 25 is charged at 2%. So the stamp duty due is £500 compared to £1,500 on the old system. If you spend £200,000, well, the first £125,000 is exempt, and then the £75,000 is charged at 2%. So the stamp duty land tax here is £1,500 compared to £2,000 on the old system. But let's look at a purchase price of £255,000. The first 125 is exempt, the next 125 is at 2%, and then the final £5,000 is now charged at 5%. So the total due is £2,750, a massive saving compared to the old system where it would have been £7,650. So the way I work it out each time is like this. A purchase price, £300,000. First 125 is exempt. The next 125 is at 2%. And the next £50,000 is at 5%. So that's a stamp duty land tax of £5,000. Compare this to £9,000 on the old system. It's got a purchase price of £350,000. The first 125 is exempt, the next £125,000 at 2%, and then the next £100,000 is charged at 5%. So that's a stamp duty land tax of £7,500. 
compare that to 10,500 previously. Let's have a look at a purchase price of £400,000. The first 125 is exempt, the next 125 is at 2%, the next 150 is at 5%, so that's £10,000 £10, stamp duty land tax. This is the way we work it out right up to £925,000. Another example, a purchase price of £550,000. Well, the first 125 is exempt and the next 125 is 2%. The following £300,000 is charged at 5%. So that's a stamp duty land tax of £17,500 compared to £22,000 on the old system. So that's the formula, up to £925,000, after which the next £575,000 is charged at 10%. That takes us up to £1.5 million. And then above that, you get charged at 12%, I'm afraid. So I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you understand stamp duty land tax a little bit better, and how to calculate the charges based on your purchase price. Always here and always happy to help you at Leonard and Hill.